y'all don't even want to know what I'm outside doing today. I don't know if I'm the only crazy dog mom that does this or if you do it too. So let's, let's just talk about it. <laughs> Hey y'all, my name is Renee. This is my channel. Welcome to my curls. I live in Kentucky and I can feel and see springtime. I'm not even kidding. I can, spring is around the corner. Officially spring is two weeks away. I think something like that, but y'all it is 60 degrees. Beautiful outside today. The first like real decent day where I could get outside and y'all are not going to believe what I'm doing. Let me show you what I have on and this may give you a hint. <laughs> Yeah, my boots. So y'all know I have two dogs, Maxie and Pollux, and we have a big fenced in yard that we put the fence in last year just for Pollux so he could run and play. And he has zoomies and he just loves every second of being outside. But that means I have dog poop in my yard. I just do, I have dog poop. And about once a week I come out here with my trusty shovel, my poop shovel and I pick up poop. Do y'all do that? Am I the only crazy dog mom that picks up their dog's poop, really? Like, please tell me. Randy thinks I'm crazy. I'm sure my neighbors think I'm crazy, but they're used to seeing me out here. I hold a little, a double bag, a Walmart, like grocery bag, and I have my pooper scooper, and I come out here and I pick up poop. If y'all wanna pick up poop with me, I could use the help, so let's get to it. <laughs> Pollux is enjoying his day. Oh my goodness, he is running and playing and having a ball. Let me show y'all something. I don't know if you can see this, but can you see the handprints in the concrete right here? This is when we put in our pool in 2008. And the girls and I and our schnauzer, Bailey at the time, we put our paw prints in the concrete when they poured that. Oh, so sweet, so sad and so sweet. Okay, Moo, let's pick up some poop. Mm-hmm, there he goes. When I come out in the yard, Pollux gets so excited. He loves it when I'm out in the yard with him. We've already been on a walk. We have been on like a two and a half mile walk. You'd think you would be worn out, but no, he is so full of energy. And when I come out into this part of his yard, he loves it. Really? This is what you're doing on a sunny day, Moo. Look at that. Mooey, what in the world? Look at this mess. Oh my gosh. It is so muddy because just two weeks ago, we had 10 inches of snow. Like no joke, we had 10. Again? You had to do it again? What are you doing? <laughs> you had to do it two times? Moo, look at this, look at this, oh my gosh, buddy. But back to what I was saying, just two weeks ago, there was 10 inches of snow in this yard, which is unheard of. <laughs> That's a nice car. Fox. But we had 10 inches of snow and then like i'm not even exaggerating the next day it was 50 something degrees and every bit of that snow melted and then it rained for like three days straight so our backyard is a horrible muddy mess let me show you the mud around the wheat oh isn't that nice mm-hmm so when you all hear me say that Pollux comes in the house with muddy, muddy feet and jumps on my bed, now you see where he's getting the muddy feet. Go Pollux, go, 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 go. He's so fast. Come on, go, go. He runs around the edge of the pool because it's not so muddy up there. <laughs> all right, Pollux, let's pick up poop, shall we? Me and my boots. But here's Mooey. 
he has not yet figured out that when this gate is closed, he should go to the other side. But y'all, he's 10. So we're just gonna let him in. Come on now. And there's the weed. Oh my goodness, so much yard work to do. Oh my gosh, look at this. My day lilies are coming up. <gasps> All right, back to business. Maxer, uh-uh, you're gonna help me pick up poop. Come on. So here's how I do it, y'all. I double bag some Walmart trash bags, and then I got this shovel. And y'all are probably asking yourselves, why is that woman picking up poop? Just let it rain on it. It'll disintegrate. It'll go away. Well, you're right, but it takes a really long time. And because Pollux comes out here, and all, and all of our dogs for that matter, we've had, Maxie's our fourth miniature schnauzer, and then Pollux is our first like mixed breed dog. But because they all come out in the yard, they run around, we keep our back door open. We have a doggy door. They can come and go as they want to. I just, they're not watching what they're stepping in. It kind of freaks me out at the thought that a dog is going to go running through the yard, flying in the back door and jumping on my bed. And there's a possibility that he has poop on his paws. I can't take it. So I got to come out here and pick up the poop. I got to show y'all something pretty hilarious. <laughs> I just discovered something and I'm almost certain this is Pollock's, uh, Pollux did this. Does anybody know what that is? This is remnants of Pollux's birthday bone. TMI, I know, TMI. You didn't want to see it, but it was funny. I had to show it to you. And I'm trying to watch where I'm stepping because even though I'm in boots, I still want to step in poop. <sighs> But it's a thing. This is what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna pick up sticks. So I've done this part of the yard. Now I gotta do this part of the yard. But he just back and forth, back and forth, nonstop. And another reason I pick up the poop is when I when the girls were little, they were always running in the yard. There was a swing set out here. There were always friends over, the neighborhood kids, they were always running in a group. And I never wanted any of the kids to like come in our yard and step up poop. And y'all know I love to be in the yard. I'm out here, I love to be in the yard barefoot. It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to do. And I don't wanna step on poop. So that's another reason I try to keep the poop picked up. Look what I found. Brecken told me that Pollock brought this outside during all of the snow and was trying to bury it out here. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna put it in my poop bag. Ugh. Keep on going. For those of y'all <laughs> that live in the city somewhere and never really get to hear country sounds, there are so many frogs in this like creek and in the wet ground behind us. I want you to hear these frogs, so listen close. Do you hear them, Moo? Mooey, is there any poop over here? This is kind of your pooping spot, bud. But I'm not seeing anything. Look, our grass is starting to green up over here where it gets a lot of sunshine. So exciting. Where'd the squirrels go, Pollux? I think you ran them off, buddy. Look, there's a squirrel nest. Can you see that one right up there? And the squirrels love to come out and taunt Pollux underneath this tree. Well, honestly, y'all, it wasn't that bad. Not as... Seriously, you're over here again. Hold on, buddy. Maxie, it's a beautiful day, buddy. You need to stay outside. We're not going to go in. Come here. Look here. If you've been in the wheat, come here. Look. If you've been in the wheat. Oh, you have been. Look what I found. Pollux, you're not going in either. Mm-mm. It is a beautiful day. We are spending it outside, guys. Come on, let's pick up sticks. 
come on. Now that the poop is picked up, I guess I'm gonna pick up some sticks. Randy hates sticks in the yard, and honestly, I hate sticks in the yard too. I'm afraid the dogs are just gonna go running out here and hit a stick, and it's gonna come up and poke them in the eye. I don't know, it's another mom thing. But I'm gonna try to pick up the sticks that fell during the winter, get them all in a big pile in our fire pit, and then when our lawn guys start coming, you know, in another month or so, they'll just get rid of all the sticks. Look what I found! Picking up sticks. Uh-huh. This is Pollux's peanut butter. Ew. Peanut butter bone. And again, Brecken told me he brought this out here and tried to bury it in the snow. But I think that needs to go in the trash at this point. Pollux, I'll have to get you another peanut butter bone, buddy. That's yuck. Hey, it's not break time. Who said you could have a break? Mama didn't get a break, you can't get break. Just laying in the mud. This is why I can never have nice things. Seriously. Okay, can y'all even tell I did anything? But I swear I've been picking up sticks for 20 minutes. I think I hate picking up sticks more than I hate picking up poop. Seriously. It is back breaking work, but Got the yard looking pretty good. I'm gonna leave it to the lawn, guys. Maybe I can get Randy out here to help me pick up sticks. Not. He never picks up sticks. <laughs> Ooh, my feet are hot in these rubber boots. I had to get those boots off. Those suckers were making my feet sweat. Whew. All right. He's gonna have to go in. Seriously. Just go. Oh, now you want in too? Okay, let's go have a treat. Snack time, something. Drink of water, something. You want a treat, Moo? My propolix. Man, let me get a small one, Mooey. Okay, one for Moo. Y'all worked hard. Thank you for your help. It is my snack time. This is my version of a fruit parfait. Granola Greek yogurt raspberries with a drizzle of honey. Mmm, that's my snack. Thanks for helping me in the yard, y'all. The poop is picked up, the sticks are picked up, but it's still such a nice day. I've already taken the dogs on a walk, but I think it just may take a book and go outside and sit in the sun. I don't know, something. But I refuse to spend this day inside. But thanks for joining me in the yard and helping me pick up the P-O-O-P. I'll see you later.